So. A loader. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I, something's broken with my game box. It shows that there's zero people on it. That's why I haven't been on. I'm like, well, fuck, I'll just wait. Meanwhile, it's essentially filled with, uh... Yeah. Weird. Like, it shows um, nerdy on my friends list, and it says that he's not on here. It's just weird. There was an update, though, which probably screwed some stuff. Um, I didn't get an update. At least I don't think so. But then again, I don't think my computer is turned off in two days. I kind of regret choosing this uh, place as my house. It's very dark. And I'm not sure how to get lighting in here. Oh, and then a thing pops up and tells me that I need to install a light chandelier. Yeah, I tried to do that in mine. I, I, from what I figured, it costs pearls. To buy one. Well, that seems... This really sucks. What? The fact that, yeah, it does cost pearls. And it's not cheap pearls either. It's not like, oh, hey, here's, you know, it's like 50 cents. It's like, hey, this is like four bucks. Waiting on. Oh shit, I totally forgot I'm not in there. <laughs> I can invite him. Let me invite him. How do you invite Beta? Uh, well, the easiest way is just to do it from the chat window, as far as I can find. Yeah, send me a tail, Crypto. 
Okay, uh, how do I find out what character name? Friends list. Y yeah, you should be able to literally just open up the friends list and type something in there and then do it from that window. I think I'll put him on a ignore. zero day. <laughs> yeah, ignore a zero day contract. Oh, I talked to Dag. Dag is like he's all down for the no contract thing for officers. Like I said, we're still going to have to plan uh, when we're doing the. Uh, the guild quests and then just essentially drop one day contracts with the minimum amount uh, just to be able to complete the guild quests in a reasonable time. Right. So you think it'd be feasible for me to go to like Velia to get my lodging and do all my work here in Hydeo? You think I'd get shit done that way? Um... Oh, that, so that'd know. be difficult, wouldn't your workers have to walk from one city to the next? And at the pace that they walk, that's like a one hour <laughs> transport time just to start working. Oh, yeah. Fuck them! Fuck them! Why don't I see Crypto in the guild yet? He has, probably hasn't even took it yet. I don't see anything popping up. No, I don't have anything. Damn it, Crypter. Don't you be breaking my shit. They won't let me invite you no more. You have to accept it. Well, shouldn't something pop up? Do I have a guild invite? One would think so. Yeah, but you've uh... Um, might... Have you tried pressing G? To see if what pops up for you? It might Nothing. end up uh, popping up the guild invite. No. Nothing pops up. Yeah, nothing is uh... Okay, try this again. And um, R E J U N, that's one of the new guys. He's waiting for an invite too. He just PM'd me right now. Well, as soon as you're in the guild, um, I. We can go ahead and grab him in. You're gonna have to try to send him in by my chat's like broke. I can't do anything with it. Oh, no, something popped up right now. No. That chat only shows in that window. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't show. even show up the right thing, isn't it? That's stupid. Have him send me a telecryptor. Well, if you can't invite, then let's not aggravate him. Uh, hold on, let's see if Beta can... What does that mean? Try to. Okay. Hopefully this works now. Already a guild member, huh? Who are you talking to? 
Uh, that's what it says. That's what it replies to me when I try to invite you. Oh, because have you, he has been not... 23 hours yet? No, it propped up a different thing for that time. No, I, I sent you a guild contract. You can't send a contract to somebody who's not in a guild. That's how you invite people. By sending them a contract? Yeah, it, it yeah. Up a contract either on the zero screen. day, one day, seven day, fourteen, thirty, that kind of thing. The thing is that you can do the zero day contracts. I thought contracts is something you can only uh, issue to guild members. That's how I understood it. Yeah, as you invite them, you can issue a contract or a zero day contract. Okay. Because, like, they're not going to be under contract unless they actually accept the contract themselves, which means joining the guild. Okay, well, something's not working. Can you guys try it without the contract? No. Okay, well, try one something. Try it with a one-day contract, seven-day, I don't know what the different uh, said, options are. Okay, it finally showed up that it says you can be invited after one hour and four minutes. Okay. Okay. So now you you can get uh, Regin R E J U N um, to the guild. I just PM'd you better with his name. Okay, am I inviting him or I can't. Spell his name. R E J U N. Friends list shows there's messages, there's nothing there. Weird. So it's only been 22 hours then, uh, if it's another hour. That makes sense. Um, the only problem with the zero day contracts is that it takes 24 hours from the invite point before we can actually drop them onto a contract to complete a guild quest. Sorry, what? Uh, because you have to be on contract to do a guild quest, otherwise it doesn't count toward all the work that you do. Okay. So, somebody they either have to be on at least a one day contract uh, with the minimum of value of 1,000 coins for the day. Um, to actually help with the guild uh, missions. Well, I mean, if they're not willing to help, then that would be pointless, wouldn't it? Yeah, if they're not willing to help, then yeah, that is. But uh, we do need to try and complete a guild mission sometime in the next couple of days, if possible. Okay. And what's the mission? Uh, not exactly sure. There's a bunch of different options and they don't tell you exactly what they entail. Um, but the ones that are designed for easy uh, only requires a 10,000 deposit. It gives you two hours to complete it. And most of them are gathering. And it will be gathering logs or gathering potatoes or something. Oh, okay. In which case, uh, the problem is I don't know if you have to do it as yourself or whether you, like, oh, gather potatoes. Well, can I pull the 500 potatoes I have out of my warehouse and that's good or not? You know, well, that's one of the questions I want to know, too. If you have the quest already, check it out. Let me try it. The problem is I don't know which quests are for potatoes. Otherwise, that'd be a little bit easier to just be like, well, you know, 
send a bunch of workers out to gather potatoes and in 30 minutes complete the quest, you know. But I'm sure it's going to be, I don't know, it might be just that easy, but it seems like it shouldn't be. Oh yeah, nerdy. How was your overnight auto fishing? Because I didn't catch a single thing. Um, I think it bugged out and stopped working. Ninety thousand going to work. Okay, so yours actually worked. So it was probably just a problem with what I did then. But um, how was it? Too much time? Or reasonable amount of time to just set it up and run it over? Oh yeah, I didn't have, I didn't lose anything. I had 100%. Because I went to bed about 6. I got up at uh, 8 o'clock, had breakfast. Find my lodging real quick, damn it. Yeah, that's the crypto I'll be making furniture and wagons for us. Oh nice, nice. Very nice. He's asking me what to do, quest or grind. I said, I quest if, if you want to contribute. Oh, you said that, uh. I said for the knowledge skill. Well, I spelled knowledge wrong. Well, I screwed that one all up. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with the resident stuff then. If it requires pearls for some of the some of the things that are almost required in, in a lot of cases here. Now that I have this set up, I mean the furniture wor warehouse or workshop that you're uh, doing nerdy. It looks like it's specific items from that city, too. It's like the Heidel handcrafted dining table. That's okay. I th think that's really cool. Yeah. Like, as you end up going through it, it's like, well, can I set up a furniture workshop in these two cities? because I like the way they look better. Going to my house now to drop some shit off.
I didn't bring my. Oh yeah, there's a furniture uh, thing that you get from buying the game, huh?
think 20. Welcome. So and here is full of excellent books. But there's no more precious companion than a horse.
Right, right, the donkey next to. Hold on. Let's see. I don't always follow by Calypso. There's no time for boredom. Actually. Uh, apparently, I've played this, or I've been logged in at least for 50 hours. Oh, it's registered. This is a legal business committed by the head of the League of Merchants. You can trust me.
Um, how does the bank work again? It's is there an NPC? I haven't. I'm sorry, I missed that. What did you say? Bank. How does that work in this game? Um, for what? Save your money, or whatever. How does the bank, uh, the personal bank, work? Like, yeah, is there it's an NPC? the warehouse manager or the whatever they call oh, it. Um, okay. and they're separated by city, so each city has its own separate. Um, number of slots, and if you put money in the storage keeper at one city, you can only pull it back out at that city, at that storage keeper. Hmm. Interesting. Never find the NPC that I'm looking for in this game. Um, that sounds like you're not using the NPC find feature often enough. Mm. Fucking internet, I swear to god, I'm gonna shoot him. Remember in the top right near your map, there's the NPC find button, and you can actually search for the name of the thing that you want or click on the icon. Oh, yeah, nice, very nice. Sure makes it a lot freaking easier. What do you got doing? Oh, I'm gonna deposit a bunch of crap in my bank, and I got a quest to tame a horse. Yes, that sounds awesome. Have fun. What? I heard that it's time consuming sometimes. Did you ever tame any dragons in a Dragon Prophecy Cryptor? I don't remember what that was like. Well, you're about to find out because it's just as bad. Yeah. Great, I've got WASD fingers going. So you tamed one already? No, I've watched videos. But I've done it in Dragon Prophecy. I've had some of the some of the biggest dragons in there and it's not fun. It's awesome. It's gonna be so much fun. I can hear it now. I wish I knew about this fucking game. Hmm, I like it. No, that's what I'm hearing out of you. No, I doubt it. The only thing I have regrets for in this game is that I know that I'm going to end up spending a huge amount more money on it. Yeah. 
I know at some point I'm going to break down and be like, I guess I'm going to buy a damn costume. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't happened yet, but I know it's going to happen at some point when I get irritated with oh, the way that oh, I look yeah. or something, and that's just gonna. And I know that's how they're making their money on it. Is because at some point everybody's essentially going to be like, if they're playing this game for this long, might as well spend more money on it. Everybody wants a fancy horsey. With an armor. The thing that I'm irritated by then. Uh, the pearl shop stuff is the housing items like I just experienced that irritates me because I think that they're overpriced for what it is when I guess you really only have to buy it once and then you can move properties or whatever with your stuff but still don't like the idea of it but then again there seems to be quite a lot of actual furniture items you can make yourself and buy in the marketplace so it's not really as bad as it seems it's just when I first started opening up the resident stuff and trying to do something fun with it. It seemed more inconvenient than I wanted it to be, which is just because I'm used to all the other MMOs just handing stuff over to you. Mm -hmm. thing is that I absolutely enjoy the fact that I have to go back to the marketplace to collect my money from the guy that sold it. <laughs> like, I know it's inconvenient, but I still think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, how else is he going to get your money to you? I mean, I guess you could set it up to where he puts it into your bank, but uh, then it would just be in the bank of that single city. That would be, like, the most convenient version of this game. But having to actually go back to the guy that runs the marketplace is awesome. I see so many people complain about stuff like that, though, and... And it's like, oh, well, that's one of the things I like about it, oddly enough. I really like the idea that they took all those steps to uh, limit or eliminate whenever possible, you know, farming, or, well, not farming, but botting and gold sellers and stuff like that. Yeah, half of it's not even specifically designed for to stop gold sellers uh, there's a certain limit of it that's actually designed to keep the economy going yeah. like this is not too bad I mean there's chandeliers in the marketplace that are <clears throat> see the highest priced one is 88,000 I guess that's the low end, but so like a hundred and eight thousand, which is kind of a bit of money, but if it's a nice looking chandeliers, that one's really ugly, but this one looks really awesome. I might end up just buying it. Nope, I'm screwed. This game is gonna, I'm gonna be f trying to make money just to be able to get stupid stuff for my house, aren't I? No, because I'm making it. Well, but the problem is, is the trading limits. Like, what can you trade and what can't you? Anything worth that much money, they're not going to allow trading because then it would become essentially a standard currency. Damn, this thing's like 400,000. Looks neat though. It's gonna be, I guess, one of those things once you play for a long time, you'll sort of treat yourself to one of those once in a blue moon. I'm glad that the housing stuff, I mean, the, some of the nicer things are only available from the pearl shop because, you know, obvious, hey, you want a specific, uh, really fancy, you know, Victorian design? Half the stuff you can only get from the pearl shop, that kind of thing. But so many of the 
specified types of um, items from different places have their specific looks. So I might end up having to set something up. Have you come to take part in putting the Isn't the marketplace uh, set by city, right? It's not global? It, will, it sounds like it's uh, set by city. Everything else seems to be. But yeah, I don't know. Hey Nerdy, um, in the furniture shop that you're setting up, can you make, a, um, I guess, counters or something that might work reasonably well as a counter in the kitchen? No, not off the bat I can't. Maybe stack some tables, some dining tables. Uh, I'm wondering if the bedside table might look enough like a countertop. Oh, the Heidel one does not look like a countertop at all. It looks like an actual bedside table. Oh, but I like the chairs from there a lot more. This is going to be a whole damn process of hunting down the furniture that I want, isn't it? Come to take part in putting the rebels down. Reward. Okay, so let's see. Ah, that's the guy. Okay. 
some of these quests I just don't get the wording for those two so far I had to search out the YouTube video it's like the one I'm looking for right now it's you take a quest and it says well ride your donkey next to in a guy's name and he's nowhere there and after looking at this YouTube video I realized that he's on the other fucking side of the map like how would you fucking find this it's hard to it really is well, I mean I, I like this kind of stuff but I'm just you know um, the only way to find the NPC is to actually have met them prior to that point and yeah. then type their name into the NPC finder? See, I tried that and for some reason it didn't work. Um, I don't know why. Did you not meet him before or did it just happen to not work? I think I met him before. He's in Heidel and I'm pretty sure I talked to everybody by now. But fuck, who knows. Actually, I got me a turban shell to put on the floor in my house. I can't put it on, on a fucking shell. It just goes on the floor. I can't put it nowhere else. And that sucks. That's worth seven points. Please don't give me Please don't give me the getting games. This is why I'm not making any progress in this game. Getting caught up in one thing after the next. Um, Cryptor, have you been keeping track of time? To know when I can actually uh, get you back into the uh, game? No. What? It's close. I think we're over. Oh, and you guys do know sleeping in a in, in a python bed or a bed, um, it recovers energy. Yeah, it increases the rate that you do it. Um, with a basic one is one, uh, uh, something else does two, and then the ones from the shop do three. I do three. Damn it, dope. If you have captured a horse. You should go to a nearby stable. Actually, the house that I picked, the residence, it's the one that's got the downstairs and upstairs. It actually has, it up on the upstairs by my bed, it actually has a fucking fireplace. That sounds really cool. And it even shows my windows open. I had my windows open and I left my apartment with the windows open. Damn it, it's gonna rain. Shit. Now, how do you get rid of a, a worker? Um, when you're in the map and you look at the workers, uh, you know how on the bottom right when you're looking at a city, it lists all the stuff. You can pull up the worker tab and then it has an option to fire them. No, mine don't. Got this. Um, so you guys want to disrupt everything that you're doing, and uh, we can try and do one of the gathering quests with only three of us. I need to get into the guild first. Yeah, but if I invite you with a zero day thing, then uh, it ends up where you have to wait 24 hours before you can. Uh, re-enable your own contract. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Actually, so, if I if I invite you in with a one-day contract and before making you the guild leader, you should still be under the one-day contract. And then you can add contracts for me and Nerdy, and we can start a, um, one of the quests. 
I mean, as long as we choose only one of the 10,000 quests, it shouldn't matter if, even if we can't quite complete it, because it'd only be 10,000. But at least we'd have an idea of what the quests actually involve, like how many resources and stuff we have to actually gather, so we know whether we have how many people we have to really get in here to complete one the right way. Or if it's possible to actually do it with just three people. Sounds good. I can't, I know it just, I can't I know it, do anything right now, because i got to be working at 7 a.m. I'm trying to get things set up so I can go do some stuff. Okay, so rather just try it out tomorrow? Yeah, I would, honestly. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm trying to log into my schedule to see what it is. Tomorrow's what, Friday, right? The 11th? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, come on. Jesus. You guys are a multi billion dollar company, and your fucking website's slow as fuck smells for you. Yep, that sounds about right. Bigger the company, the worse it's set up to actually manage all the employees. Fucking quest, I'm just not gonna complete it, yes. I see other people completing it. Fuck. Oh my god, come on. Oh, I got me a blue worker. Awesome. Now, what's held in storage? Uh, your storage has to have any of the materials that your workers work with. So, when you need them to make, like, the plywood planks, you know, you have to make sure that the uh, the logs get cut into the cut into the pieces for your workers to have the resources to make the uh, the plywood. Right. And so that has to be in the inside the storage so that they can pull it out of the storage and work with it. So how do I change that? What do you mean change that? I don't even know what my workers are doing or where they are. What the hell's going on there? We can do it. We can do it Friday night. I get off at four, and I don't have to be at work until eleven thirty uh, Saturday. Or we can do it Saturday night because I'm off Sunday. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty wide open ever since I lost my job. Well, we understand that, Crypto. Okay, so how much longer I got on this? I got an hour for my wagon workshop. Okay, Furniture. Crypter, um, still have about uh, 13 minutes left. Um, I'm 
having issues. I never did get the uh, furniture workshop is two two. Never did get the uh I got the wagon workshop, but I gotta have the other part of the workshop. There's the wagon part. I never got. Why not, Nerdy? Why did you not get them? Finally figured this shit out. Whew. I hate having like one of those quests that's just stuck on your quest tracker and you can't fucking figure it out. How do you know what you I fucked up. Okay, there's the wa I got the wagon workshop, which that builds it puts the wagons together. Yeah. Woodwork bench. But I don't have the one to build the part shop. Well, what parts do you need? Because the iron ingots come from the um, the mineral workshop. Uh, the plywood comes from uh, the wood workshop. I think the moral of the story is you can't do everything by yourself. No, we had it all figured out, Crypter. Well, it doesn't sound like it. You should have uh, on... Uh, three one. The second floor is the mineral workbench to be able to make the ingots. Um, I, know, I own both of them, though. That's the problem. I own the top and bottom. First and yeah. second floor. Uh, the first floor is the refinery to be able to make the blackstone powder. Right. The second one is the wood. Uh, or uh. Yeah. Three two is the wood workbench, and. Three story. Yeah, that's all that you need for the wagon workshop. Because if you look at the things, it only s says that it needs the wagon horse, then the plywood ingots, the tough hide which you have to make, and then the blackstone powder which is processed in the refinery in the three one. No, I have to. Ha I have to have a wagon part workshop, which makes the shabby wheel, wagon wheel, the flag, the cover. I have to have all that. Oh, okay. So, what is the? Is it? It says wagon registration. So is that just? What is that for then? Four or five. Looking. That's four once five. you have a completed wagon. Register it just mm -hmm. like a horse. Four five has oh, wow. Okay. All this just got five hundred times more complicated. Yeah. And each of those components requires some wood, possibly some metal or whatever. Yeah, certain types of timber, flax fabric, which requires uh farming mm -hmm. the flax and then processing it in the um yeah. 
Okay, I am Crap. completely, I'm completely out of fucking points right now. I just bought that, what I needed. We're all together except my, uh, my lodge. My lodge is up at, um, eight, which is up the street, which is still close, but it's not close enough, but. Okay, since you're still guild leader, um, beta, before I go to bed, have you looked, have you clicked on the guild houses to see what it says, what we need to do to get one? Uh, I have not even bothered looking at it. I figured it was something insane. Maybe. Could be simple. Okay, uh, apparently clicking on it on the map does absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna walk up to one of them. Is there any way to rotate your fucking map? Have you come to take part in putting the rebels down? If you help us, we'll offer you a nice reward. What do you mean? Uh, rotating the map? Yeah, because everything's like together. You can't turn it yeah. sideways. Well, you just right click and drag to rotate the map. You can put it at the different angles, rotate the each direction to about 60 degrees, maybe more. Okay, I see. I got it. I just realized I said 60 degrees when, um, that was really stupid. I'm really bad at geometry then. Uh, can you see if you can invite me? Yeah, send me a tail. So, walking up with, uh, to the guild house does nothing either. And I don't see somebody around the front of the guild house to talk to. Three minutes, Scripter.
Uh, Kirkter, I'm gonna try sending you the invite again. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that was kinda interesting. Bring them back up. He can just resend it to you. If you wouldn't mind, sorry, I was fighting and then just kept clicking and clicked right, at, right over the thing. Okay, uh, let me know when you're ready. I'm good. That work? Yeah. Yay. Nice. Nice, nice. Kill description, save of the day. Wow, lots of stuff. Declared, received. Isn't that fucking thing crazy? That's nice. Wow. <coughs> so we're gonna lose half our guild funds, right? Yeah, that's okay though. <coughs> I can deposit we'll pull whatever I have. You can't deposit nothing, Cryptor. No? break down and uh, do about two hours worth of fishing because if we <coughs> fail um, a guild quest and if there's not enough money in the bank to cover it you understand it comes out of your pocket regardless <coughs> I, I'm disappointed it I handed over the guild thing and then it drops me down to a regular <coughs> member didn't even bother to be nice enough to be like hey you're still an officer though yeah it's like you're useless now. <coughs> awesome. <coughs> Take a look at the huge amounts of stuff to actually do. <coughs> yeah, it seems like a really nicely detailed UI. Yes, it is. From what I mean, I don't know what... Um what it means, but, <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. You can change the guild emblem only on Mondays. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. No? Well, somebody has to be hired to look through them and approve them, so... I'm yeah. assuming that some poor sucker gets uh, designated the person to go through uh, them all on Monday. Yeah, that's the guy who gets to reject all the penises. Which I'm sure there was plenty of on the first day. Is that little red? border thing? Is that something we choose? Is that something that assigns to us? Uh, that's, uh, the red border is for the guild leader. The blue border is for guild officers. Oh, okay. Cool. And the icon that you choose goes inside the border. Uh, regular members just get the picture um, with no border around it. So when we design the icon, we should take into account that only the guild leaders and officers have borders and everybody else is gonna just have a little picture next to their name.
Holy shit, dude, I got so much storage now. It's funny. I've only got uh, three full bars at the bottom of my uh, storage. That's not full, so I'm a little over halfway full. Well, okay, before I move my slider, I should say. Trying to figure out how to climb this tower. Well, that obviously didn't work. Well, I have a lot of uh, buildings. Holy crap, do I have a whole lot of buildings. Twelve buildings, and I haven't got to the lodging part yet. This is like an Assassin's Creed uh, style tower here. Oh, you're probably doing that one. Open field on the back of a horse. It feels so nice. Oh. Marketplace. Some shit sold. Well, I ended up falling all the way off the tower before I got to the top. You don't die. Yep. Barely got any health taken away.
I want to know since I have I've got four wagon wheels if I should hold on to those or should I sell them? Um, that's up to you. I'm not sure how much wagon wheels actually cost to make. Well, that was stupid. We got all the way up here, and there's a secret box at the top, and all it says is secret box. <laughs> and it doesn't give me anything. <laughs> oh, that's not good. What's not good? Did you guys not look at the uh, the um, positions? We have no guild leader now. We're all officers. Crypto's not the master. What? Yeah, uh, shows the uh, master to me. I yeah. uh, think it might just be a problem because I had to upgrade him to officer before I could uh, make him the guild leader. So. Shows may okay not have for me. updated, but I see it just fine. Okay, as long as you guys see it, that's that's all it that matters. Because all I see is officer, and I'm like, oh, this is not fucking good. Yeah, this should update the, uh, you know, the UI and stuff for you probably the next time you log in or when it decides to end up reloading the information. I'll be, back minutes. I'll be back in just a minute and grab more coffee. And crypto grab back up and grab me a drink real quick. Sure man, I'll be here. Hey Ninja, um, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it depends what kind of game you like. Um, but if you're, let's say, an MMO player, played a lot of these games, I think you will really appreciate this. Um, what do you want a key? I have a couple seven day keys if you want one. I'm just going off to explore right now. <coughs> I want to see more of the map. The world is just huge. To be honest, um, I looked at Black Desert and Archage at the same time, and I sort of thought that Black Desert is kind of cooler because it's more of a European look than Asian. 
This is a good one. If you like combos, combo systems and stuff like that, this is a really good one. Um, okay, no problem. I'm gonna let this guy run. And let's see, I gotta log into my account, I think. You know, they did a lot of... For a veteran MMO player, you appreciate a lot of stuff that they did to eliminate bots and farming and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yes, they are. So if you want to be a tamer, you're going to be a female. If you want to be a ranger, you're a female. Stuff like that. Um... Wow. Uh, y the character creation itself is fantastic. You really can, if you go through all the advanced options, you can pretty much create anything. From Star Trek to freaking anything. Seven guest pass, seven days. Okay. Um, not so much. It's not, it's not the type of, not so much the type of a traditional MMO that we used to. Um, how should I send this over to you? Whisper. Who do I whisper to you? The whisper thing doesn't open. Mm, I think it's just you and me in this chat, isn't it? No, it's not. Um... Can you whisper me? I have the key ready. I have I have two of those today. If um, anybody else wants some, sorry, I didn't realize you guys were watching. To be honest, uh, we've just been farting around here in the guild, creating a guild. I just joined it. Okay, click on your name. Whisper. Damn it. Uh, how about right click, I'll open your channel in another window and I'll send you a PM, how about that? This is starting out pretty good. Got me a blue fish right off the bat. Message. There we go. What are you doing, Crypto? Uh, what are you doing? I'll be right back, man. I'll just want some. Go on the FK on our voice server. So I'm gonna. Um, you can definitely. You definitely don't have to uh, join us or anything like that. But I will send you information where our guild is. Uh, if you. Just in case you want to join us. <sighs> I'll just give you a guild website. Yes. It's like the third. What's the guild info in right here? Third server. Things are never easy. Server over. 
It's a pretty big download from what I remember. Graphics is uh, fa graphics are fantastic, as you can tell. Okay, server. There you go. Okay, so I just PM'd you in your um, Twitch mailbox or whatever. You should be able to get that message shortly. Spotted deer. Um, we should go. Oh, these are. There's like a camp here. Let's go to it. What the hell? I went through this. I thought I did. You know, we have to unlock it. It's it's such a beautiful game, but and you know what? Uh, when you play this, uh, you know, in MMOs traditionally, the worst possible thing graphically wise is uh, combat. You know, the animations. Uh, awesome, thank you. Uh, the animations are usually pretty clunky. And um, it just doesn't feel like it's uh, your character is reacting when it should be and stuff like that. And not so in this game. It's pretty nice. I mean, the Ranger is probably not the best class to. The oops. Is watching. Uh, she uh, is watching all the time. Thank you. But uh, I mean, if you want, as you wait, I could always jump into Character Creator or um, something. You know, start a new class. We have a small guild up here, just laid back people. If, if that's what you're looking for, you, you know, you're more than welcome to join us. Um, there is stuff that a lot of people. Let me rephrase that. A lot of the stuff that people complain about about this game is stuff that makes it the best MMO on the market, in my opinion. For example, you cannot trade. You can't give gold to anybody, you can't give them items that you find. You c there is no trade, as such. Which a lot of people uh, bitch about. However, that alone, and that's just a small part of all the different things they did, but that alone basically takes care of uh, farmers and stuff like that. There's no reason for anybody to be in this game, farm stuff, when they can't trade it to somebody. Another thing is, the marketplace works a little like a uh, stock market. You can't uh, just name any price. Like, if you have an item, you want to <coughs> sell it on the marketplace, it will show you what the highest price is and what the lowest price is. And you can uh, sell or list your item for any any amount uh, within that bracket. But you know you can't just well you can't just come up with some crazy amount or crazy low or crazy high. So that, for example, stabilizes the market. Plus, it takes care of another way that farmers and other you know. People tend to uh, what's 63? Uh, tend to transfer wealth between each other. You know, it, like in, in WoW, for example, uh, you know, a, l a lot of times you'll see uh, useless item listed for you know thousands and thousands of gold. Well, that's exactly why somebody's transferring that money. That in here can't take take place because they took care of that. So they have a lot of stuff that's um, more ammo, more ammo. No guns. They have a lot of uh, mechanics in this game that take care of uh, problems that destroy other MMOs. Harpies. It is crazy. It is insane. 
if you enjoy cr enjoy crafting, Jesus, uh, I don't know if you heard the conversation my guildies had uh, just a couple minutes ago, but it's just insanity. Um, you know, in order to make a wagon, which uh, adds uh, inventory spaces to your mount, uh, you have to create, you know, half a dozen different components. Each of those requires half a dozen different things, and it just becomes this humongous goddamn project. Um, where should I go? I want to explore, man. I want to explore. Why is th how come this is not unlocked for me? Like why is why is the fog of uh, war or whatever in here? You know what? I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go up the tower. Um, there is a lot of stuff that's interesting that I've never seen in any other MMO. You know, the tendency is to make sure that you can do anything in a game from any location. Uh, what I mean by that is, yeah, the American tendency is to make everything super easy. So, for example, um, bank, right? Everybody seems to think that it's normal that you can access your b Wow, Jesus Christ, look at this. That you can access your bank from anywhere, and it's the same bank. That's brutal. Jesus. Um, in this game, you have a bank in every single city. However, you know, it's not the same bank. Like, if I go to a bank in, let's say, a city called Heidel, that's the Heidel Bank. If I go to another city, my stuff in Heidel Bank is no longer accessible to me. I have to go to that city, to the bank in that city. Um, I have no idea, to be honest. I never used the uh, guest pass. I haven't read. Uh, you can go to their website if you want. You want me to link it for you? Uh, they, they'll I'll tell you. I know it's limited to seven days. Okay. Is that even higher? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty well done. I like this. Look at this. It really does. It really does. For example, you're a crafter. And, well and you decide to craft housing items. The table you craft in Heidel is going to be a Heidel table. If you establish your uh, sort of, uh, you know, crafting base in a different part of the continent, if you will, your stuff is going to be themed um, based on where uh, what the location is which is very cool because right now when you think about it you know people crafting stuff in different cities making are making stuff that looks different which is very cool okay, how do I get out of here install oh, it was pretty big if I remember it's like 31 gigs or something. I mean, it's pretty big to me. I usually play all the games, which are fairly small in comparison. Uh, it should go pretty quick though now, you know? Like that initial rush of people going in uh, is kinda over. Although this game is really gaining the momentum. Uh, it's becoming fairly known and popular. I don't even know where I left my horse. Is this my horse? That's not my horse. Oh, come on. Didn't I leave my horse in here? Is it dead? So I kill it? I think I left it here. Oh, don't tell me my horse is gone. Come on. Okay. I think I can click on the icon. Okay, 
Um, you know, you have combos. I mean, it it it's a very well thought out game. Oh, okay. I just didn't go far enough. Which is very nice. Uh, I'll be honest with you. For example, the 128 or 125, I forget what it is. SSD is all I have. Everything I have is on there. It's going so slow. There you go. I just... I try not to keep too much stuff uh, installed. Usually I have, uh, you know, m one MMO, flavor of the month, if you will, and then uh, some additional stuff. What else do you play, if you don't mind me asking? Is there any other games that you're sort of uh, into? I've been playing pretty much MMOs almost exclusively for a goddamn decade. I'll go this way and we're going further in the fog of war. Um, but uh, this game caught our entire guild by a huge surprise. A lot of our guys got pretty burned. League? I have a question for you. Why do you choose League versus Dota 2 or Heroes of the Storm for that matter. I haven't played League to be honest, but oh, I see a tower there, let's go there. Warhammer End Times. End Times. What is that? Is that sounds like an RTS or something, I don't know. There has been a lot of Warhammer games over the years. See, I, I would really like to get good at the uh, MOBAs. Whoa, look at that big building. There, there. Let's go this way. Let's, let's go there. Ah, okay, okay. Um. Maybe I should try it, I don't know. I like the competitive community in Dota 2. And the fact that there is so many competitions uh, all the time. Uh, a lot of which have money prizes. Look at that city. Okay, that's like the biggest city I've seen so far. Well, it seems like that will be... Uh, where should we go? Okay, that uh, seems to have a nice bridge. We'll go this way. You think so? Great. Turbo interface, huh? Hmm. I mean, I don't have enough experience. I mean, I played quite a bit of uh, Blizzard uh, 1. But it's just like early games, it's it's pretty stupidified, you know. Um it's it's nice, but I mean now that uh, Blizzard bought the esports organization, of course that game's gonna pick up. Plus it's just fucking simple enough for anybody to pick up, so Oh, okay, 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 I see what you mean. So the... low interface doesn't get in your way. That's a very good point, especially in a competitive game, huh? Okay, I'm gonna leave my horse here. I mean, I, uh, well, it's been a long time, I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, because that would be embarrassing, but 
back in the day, I used to play competitive uh, StarCraft. And I have a... Wow, this is... F fucking awesome. There's everything here, huh? Oh yeah, shit. I put it down somewhere in there in the text box, yeah. Um, I'd love to get back into StarCraft. I like StarCraft 2, I guess, these days. Whoa, what the fuck is this? General Goods Vendor. I love it that there's like you know, giants and other stuff here. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Um, but, you know, I'd, li I'd like to choose a MOBA that I can really sink my teeth into. And I sort of think Dota 2 might be better for me. I don't know why. It just feels... Well, I, ne I never gave LoL a try. Is there a frequent... Uh, Pretty nicely done. Weird as elephant thing. Um, is there lots of competitions in LoL going on? Just like in Dota. Like in Dota, there's one like all the time. It seems, which I really, really like. Um, obviously, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, those are the two top mobas, unless there's something I don't know. See, I watched the LOL quite a bit on Twitch and it just... Look at this guy, fucking shady character. What is it? How you doing, buddy? Alrighty. Like, I even like... These animations they have for going over things. Harder? Really? See, I don't see a much difference between them, to be honest. So you have your car, you have your heroes, you have a bunch of stuff you can equip. Mm. They play similar. I don't know. Giant priest or something. I'm just waiting to think time. I'm not getting anything done. What is this? That is a huge city. Okay, so everywhere the territory capital from blah, blah blah tax rate, play information. Hmm. Yeah, I do actually. You know what? I'm gonna sub to you just so I can see uh, see play in the future or follow. Sorry. As far as shooters, okay, I see you play what Battlefield and stuff like that. See, I was thinking about getting into uh, CSGO. It seems like so much fun. A lot of people seem to have fun playing it. This might be a good place for base. Uh, this is such a huge city. Although I'm gonna fucking disappear. Like, I'm gonna lose myself in here. Okay, let's try to get out of this place. Yeah. So that's my my thing here. Um, I mean, I, l I I thoroughly love Black Desert. Don't take me wrong. But uh, I'd like to. It totally is. We're you know we're in that switch where free to play games are really becoming free to play. Because for the last two years they haven't been frankly, you know. Now there's so many great, great choices for free-to-play games. It's fantastic. And these days, any genre you want to play, um, there's something you can uh, get that you don't have to pay for. 
monthly or even in game just game wise way fuck which way do I enter? from here? I don't see the icons but I thought that I left my horse in here somewhere yeah which I really enjoy like for example uh, what's well a stupid game and a dumb example but let's say Hearthstone you know there's people that I know that spend you know four or five hundred dollars on this game and for me I have a huge satisfaction playing it uh, just because I know I haven't spent a penny not a dollar and I don't know why, but that makes me smile. Let's see what else we can find. Totally. It, it, you know what I mean? Like, about really. It's a... Uh, see, there's another city there, right? That I didn't see. So let's go, like, north. Okay, why do I see red spots? Um, you know, the nice thing is, for example, for guilds these days, if you wish, you know, it, it's hard to keep people interested in one game for a long period of time, and this, these days, with so many free-to-play titles, it makes it easy for a guild to stay together. Take care. Sure, I'll be here. Already gone? Yeah, he went to bed. Oh, really? Oh. Man, I, I just went exploring, so I'm just running around, and holy shit, I found a huge city. And by huge, I mean. Okay. Uh, your base is Velia, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is probably fucking ten times bigger. Like seriously, yeah. Um, High Dell is about four times larger than Velia, and uh, Calfion is uh, about five times larger than High Dell. That's where I am right now. It seems just a lot larger than that, but I don't know. Is well, there any other? How do you know about these cities? Um, well, BD Foundry has a map. This is why we're oh. I know where all the nodes are and stuff, and it shows you the cities. You know. Okay. Resources outside of the game is how I know about it. Nice. Yeah, I just went on a exploration mission. I'm thinking of starting a new character right now, and because while I enjoy the Valkyrie and I enjoy the combat, uh, it seems this character is being used more as uh, playing with the economy and other stuff around that. Mm -hmm. And I want to. I need another alt at least, you know, when I start getting more into the game, a little bit deeper. But I also want to explore more of the combat and leveling. So I'm thinking I'm going to just create a new character. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to go with though. Well, when you do, you let me know. I'll invite you. Then I'll go and make one and then you can invite me. Well, it's done by family name, so oh. all characters in on your account. Well, on the server on this account are in the guild already. Okay, cool. I'm going so slow. What's this? Problem is, I'm not sure what to go with. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about going with the wizard just because giant AoE looks really cool. The tamer uh, stuff looks really cool too. 
But I'm thinking because the Valkyrie is a melee class, I want to go with something that might be more distance-based. Mm -hmm. Ranger, Wizard, Witch. Ranger is pretty cool. Well, you have lots of tools to stay mobile, keep your uh, targets at range. I want to try a Berserker next, I think. Yeah, the Berserker looked really fun. Uh, no real defense options, but damn, does he seem to just rip through enemies like they're nothing. I saw a Berserker when I was trying to uh, kill a bunch of goblins, and he walks into the uh, group next to me and essentially just wipes them out, like the entire thing of them, really quick. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it looked really cool, like the mobility and stuff for uh, his class being a melee. Mm -hmm. Seems really high for what you know what you'd expect a lot of melee classes to be. Essentially, jumping in, killing stuff, jumping out, and going, you know, getting behind them that way. That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, if you can stay mobile, it sort of makes up for uh, lack of defense. Yeah. Partially. Because yeah. I mean, as a ranger, I have tools at my disposal that, I'll, like, I never. W if I pay attention. You know, during the entire fight, I never get hit. Just because I always jump around so much. Tends to make you a little lazy though, and then you get in trouble. Go to the other big city. You know what, if that's the case, maybe I'll just make a Zerker right now. Although this is pretty freaking fun. I, I, it's one of the better Ranger classes in the memos, I think, overall. Um, probably not going to be a class that I end up playing. I might try it out, but I don't think it's going to be one of the... Because there's a lot of, pretty much an any MMO, the ones that are essentially bow wielders and stuff, I've not really enjoyed. I mm. enjoy uh, certain types of uh, melee classes and uh, casters. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, it's pretty much the opposite of me, for me. I'm usually, my first choice is usually a druid, if there is one, then hunter, then rogue. Oh, a druid in this game would be awesome. I can't yeah. imagine the skills in that. Um, my horse needs to eat and I have nothing to give him. So I find it interesting that so the witch and wizard are the male and female versions of pretty much the same class with only s slight differences in their playstyle, from what I understand. And but there's other classes that are um, going to be added into the game as they roll the updates out to uh, U.S. and Europe. Really? And uh, uh, there's like the ninja class ones. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, but the girl's name is a plum, and 
the styles of the combat is similar, but the uh, play style is slightly different. Same with the Witch and Wizard, you know, same idea, just slightly different um, skills um, and the way that they operate, which I think is really cool. Even as the gender changes for the thing, they're technically just slightly different versions of the same thing. I'm assuming that the ninja class is the typical rogue kind of thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, probably. Man, I screwed up with my horse. Fuck. That city, though. Wow. This game really shines when uh, you enter one of these huge cities. How how do we look this up? I guess there is a Korean website for this game or something. Uh, for what? The classes that are in there. Um, let's see. Uh, Black Desert Foundry. Uh, I believe they have a list of all the classes that are even in the Korean version, but it's all in English. Essentially written in English by people that played the Korean version and then adapted it for the Europe and North America uh, version of the game because that's okay. what more English speakers are going to be playing. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, they have a guide section in here somewhere with all the classes in it. Uh, I put it in game box for the website. It's the uh, Black Desert Foundry guide section, and under the classes, you'll see all the classes that are available, even in the Korean version. Thank you. Wow, I like the ninjas. Well, this is another game where I'm gonna end up having freaking, you know, 17 characters. The advantage is that it rewards alts. Because each of your alts uh, ends up playing a part in the, your trying to get money for it, the economy and then it also has the option of oh hey change my uh, character um, if we happen to go into PvP or that kind of stuff. That's true. That's a, Actually yeah that's a very good, very good point. Because there are definite classes that are much better at PvP and groups and PvP you know kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's like oh well we're going to be jumping into some fairly large scale PvP let me switch over to this character to, you know that I know that I can do even better with in this kind of situation well I'm not a major PvP person I still enjoy you know dipping into it Yeah, it's definitely fun as a sort of break to break the monotony. I um, I tend to go headfirst into PvP if I do do it. But uh, in this game, I don't think there's any instance like arena stuff. Not that I've seen anyway. No, that would break the idea of everything is essentially open world. There's no instant dungeons or anything else, there's just world bosses and uh, essentially like orc camps and stuff that you have to make through to be able to get to the boss at the end, that kind of stuff. 
which is kind of sucks because of the number of people sometimes but otherwise I really like the idea that it's you know there's no random instances Horses is gonna fucking croak before I get to a city. And I'm gonna make a berserker after this one. Faster. Probably, let's see. If I run, then when I'm here I can use. Oh, that's a nice flash. Okay, and let's see if I can. If you can tame a horse on the first move, you must be a natural horse whisperer. Whatever. Distance is too great. Sorry, I have a horse flute thing. Okay, so it's. So taking care of it. All right, so I have my horse in storage. Okay, let's make me a berserker. my 
is in here. Jesus. so dark. It's because the color. So now the face. Oh wow. No sideburns. shape work and makeup. This way, I love this. So it reminds me of uh, ancient symbols from my family's room. Hmm. That is very cool. Oh, cool.
not going to do anything weird to the eyes. I don't think. The blue comes from somewhere. What? What's this? So can I? If I change. Okay. Why do they have purple but no red? Seems bizarre. Fits this guy. Height, make it the biggest possible. What a shape. Should we make him humongous? Yeah, he's a giant. Let's make him gigantic. Actually, let's, let's do something. So tattoo. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Where's that going? Back. So I'm looking at different cosmetics. That's not for style, is it?
Okay. Alrighty, we got a ginormous giant. Awesome. I'm sitting here messing with features, face features. Yeah, there's <laughs> consistently going through like a hundred different little things. It's this a mini game creator. in itself. When I created my first character, I was took, I think, 45 minutes to get through the damn character creator. <laughs> nice. This is the same for all of them. Holy crap, I just figured out that you can make the eyes, each individual one, look different. Like it has an option to customize the left eye and the right eye separate. <laughs> nice. Yes. Alright. Well, this should be, in fact, shift. Let me try to see where I click. When things are tough, pray and stay strong. Elion takes care of us all. Press the control key to turn the mouse on or off. The ch chief leader. Why? Um, this is the indicator, right? Ha 
sure I like them a lot. Hold on, where am I? Where's this? Oh. Oh, okay. Previously, I started here. Wrong, I think. Am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. the same. You can count on Eden. Don't worry. The past doesn't tell us anything about the future. This is Alvia. Hundred K emblem. Oh yeah. The goblins are smart. attachment to this town. We should be the ones to defend our own land. People. I'm gonna have to see this keyboard thing. What? 
E to grab the enemy or to attack. Vigilantes look up to Proxus. Horses per character or count. I am in charge of all the four hundred beasts in the Sure, sure. Oh, that is fantastic. It's a count. That's nice. The horses are account bound, not character bound. Yeah, makes it a lot easier to actually travel. Mm-hmm. It, it, that's a big benefit, you know, like, well, which, what was I going to say? That's a big uh, plus for people that uh, like alts. Huge. This guy can dish out a lot more damage than the Ranger.
Because <clears throat> I had some tools, gathering tools in there. So maybe also, cow brown, but obviously not. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Feed the wolves. Why can't I bring up my... W? Elastic Force? Oh, that's... you can just... okay. Oh, okay. Jesus, that's just scary.
What time is it right now? Let's check. Thursday. I'm stuffed, but let's see what we're in our inventory here. Do our shoes. Okay. Let's see what we're doing. Let's go back to the top.
that's the thing. So. I'm back. Yeah, hey, welcome back. Okay, that's been a blast. I actually really enjoy this weird giant rogue class. And I'll be playing this tomorrow for sure. But for now, I gotta go. And I'll see you tomorrow, man. Alright, have a good night. You too,